Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will be reading a book from OxfordOwl.com. Again, all you need is to create a account with them and then you will have access to free books. And the book we'll be reading today is Weenie and Wilbur Stay at Home. Weenie the witch and her big black cat Wilbur love to fly about on their broomstick and look down at the crowds of people on the street below. But now the streets were empty and Weenie and Wilbur had to stay home. The scientists on the TV said, stay at home to keep everyone safe. Here are some of the things that you can you must do to stay safe. Glithering broomsticks, cried Weenie. It will be hard staying home all the time. Keep washing your hands and don't touch your face, said the scientist. Wilbur liked to lick his paws and wash his face. So Weenie made Wilbur a special collar. Wilbur didn't want to wear it. He wiggled his tail angrily, which tickled Weenie on the nose. Ah, ah, Weenie went. Be sure to catch your sneezes in a tissue and then throw the it away, continued the voice of the scientist. A tissue? Weenie went, grabbing the tissues Wilbur handed her. Weenie washed her hands with lots of bubbly soap and sang a song. She washed, rub-a-dub, pelinkid pink, washing my hands in the sink, she sang loudly. Wilbur washed his paws too and popped the bubbles as they floated past. Come on, Wilbur, let's find something to do, said Weenie. Wilbur pointed at the computer. I know, said Weenie. We can get fit. Weenie and Wilbur tried out an online exercise class. And now, get your hula hoop, said the instructor. One, two, three. Meow. Watch out, Wilbur cried. Weenie, as their legs tangled together. Let's make some yummy pumpkin lunch now, Weenie said. So they went into the garden and Weenie picked up the biggest pumpkin she could find. She waved her magic wand and counted to three and shouted, Abracadabra. And there on the kitchen table was a pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie, and pumpkin cake. Delicious, said Weenie. Now we can eat up, Wilbur. After lunch, Weenie got her books out. Come on, Wilbur, we need to keep up with our learning, she said. I can help you with your spelling. But Weenie wasn't very good at spelling and Wilbur had to help her. Meow, said Wilbur. Yes, good idea, Wilbur. Let's paint a picture of a rainbow and put it in our window. But Weenie only had black paint. So she waved her magic wand, abracadabra. Suddenly there were colors everywhere and Wilbur looked like a rainbow too. What's that sound, Wilbur asked Weenie. All Weenie's neighbors were outside their homes making lots of noise. Let's clap as loudly as we can, cried Weenie. Hip hip hooray. Then Weenie had an excellent idea. She waved her magic wand, abracadabra, and a rainbow appeared over the whole street. What a fun day, Wilbur. Staying home is not so bad after all, especially when we've got each other, said Weenie. We've got time for a story and then, let, then let's go to sleep. Purr, 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 said Wilbur. 
settling down to listen to his favorite book, 